Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll try and be as brief as I can with what I've got on the card here, but uh, <laughs> this really is a very significant moment in the history of this organization, which turned 87 years old last August. This building really started with a telephone call, and the retirement of the mortgage started with a telephone call. And in between, there's a little bit of history and some people that I would like to introduce and have you thank for us. Some of the things we had to do. Number one, we had to get an architect to design a building that would fit this lot. It so happens that we had an architect in the band who's been a member of this organization for 66 years. We talked to him and he said, yes, I'll design the building for you, which he did. And he saw the whole process through from the beginning of blueprints until we got the building up and open. And I would like you to thank our good friend, Jack Claremore, right here. There he After that, we decided that we were going to probably have to have somebody who could build this building for us. And so it so happened that we had somebody in the band who was a very, <laughs> very successful builder in this area and has built some wonderful buildings. And so we went with him. Turns out he was a former member, a former student of mine at Elmo High School when I taught there, and then since joined this band. But we could turn to nobody better than the gentleman that we got to be the general contractor for this building who kept copious notes on everything that we did daily, hourly, minute by minute. <laughs> and you can see those inside on the building there. But anyhow, I want you to please thank for me yes. personally, Joe Goldsmith. Who <laughs> the next thing we had to do was to decide, well, we got to get raise some money. We can't build a building if we don't have any money. So. We hired a little fundraiser for 15,000 bucks a year, told him that what we wanted him to do was to develop grants that could be sent to foundations and so forth to get some money, uh, to develop a dog and pony show, and uh, we would take it from there. Well, he developed a very fine dog and pony show and brought it to us, we liked it, and then we tried to decide, well, who are we gonna take this pony to to show it, and who's gonna be the dog? Turned out I was the dog. <laughs> and I remembered that on many occasions, the Perry Foundation, a very philanthropic organization here in town, had given money to the municipal band on several occasions, small amounts, uh, to take care of some needs that we have from time to time. So I said to the board, okay, I think we should go and talk with Francis Fife, who is president of the Perry Foundation, and see if we could arrange for me to go before their board and ask for some big money. The big money was $50,000. I contacted Francis. Francis said, yes, I'll arrange for you to talk to the board. Went before the board. When I walked out of the room, one of them grabbed me by the arm and said, Jim, we think you've got $50,000. Well, my big problem was I should have asked for $100,000. <laughs> but anyhow, the gentleman who really gave us the big seed money to get us going was Francis Fife and the Perry Foundation. We had groundbreaking after we had raised a little money. We decided we would not break any ground until we had $300,000 in the till. When we reached that magical moment, we broke ground, had a little ceremony out here, and got going. And of course, Joe just built this magnificent building for us. We had estimated at the time that it was going to cost us about $600,000. Well, we were going through an inflationary period at the time. Costs were rising, labor costs were going up, everything was going up. It turned out that the building was going to cost us about 900000 We were 300000 short. So, at that time, Charlie Terry had become president of the board of the band, and he and I sat down and we talked about where we are going to go to get some money. We knew a couple of officers of one of the local banks, and he and I went and sat down with those two gentlemen told them what our problem was, that we needed a $300,000 loan. And a couple weeks later, we got word that we had gotten a $300,000 loan. I want to thank Charlie Terry personally because he signed on the dotted line for us. We actually finally got the building completed. We opened in June of 2000. Uh, with very little fanfare, we had a group that came in and rented the building the very first week and did some work in here. But there was one organization that came to us and said, we need your space downstairs 
because you've got a kitchen. And we need to meet twice a month in your building and would like to do so. And we worked out a very nice arrangement with them. And that process was done with my very, very, very close friend and colleague, Tom Herbert and the Charlottesville Post Lions Club. Tom, we thank you for having me. Both the city of Charlottesville and the county of Albemarle have supported this organization through the years uh, with money for the operation of the band. Not money for this building, but only money for the operation of the band. I'm not sure Bob Cook is here. He was going to try it if he could. And I'm not sure, huh? And I don't, I know that Gary O'Connell is not here. Gary had major surgery just recently and is recuperating. But anyhow, let's give the city and the county a big hand for helping us out. Now, all through this process, particularly in the beginning, there was one person who really was the spark plug behind this entire event, uh, venture. That's my good friend, Tom Bibb. Tom worked tirelessly, day in and day out, met with me, met with people, met with groups, did everything under the sun to get this thing really going and lifted this program off the, off the ground. A lot of people think that I did a lot of work. I did some work. But Char, uh, Tom Bibb really deserves credit for this building being here today. Tom, we thank you. <laughs> that brings us to the second telephone call. <laughs> <laughs> this past June, the municipal band was getting close to the conclusion of its first summer concert at the Paramount Theater. As I always did, and Steve, my successor, has been doing ever since, we always thank everybody for the support they have given us. And Steve mentioned that evening that we were planning to retire the mortgage on the 1st of November. What was the amount of that, about $15,000? Something like that. Anyhow, somebody in the audience picked up on that and a telephone call was made to our treasurer the next day wanting to know what the balance was on our mortgage. And that was about the end of the telephone call, but a few days later, Maybe a week or so later, we received a check in the mail from an anonymous contributor that paid off the mortgage for this building. I think we ought to thank him or her, whoever it was. <laughs> One other person that I'm going to mention, and then we're going to burn this mortgage. <laughs> Mitch Van Uris, who was a longtime <clears throat> organizer, representative in our state assembly down in Richmond, Mayor of Charlottesville, successful businessman, did a lot of lobbying for us with the General Assembly and was able to get $100,000 along the way for us as far as this building is concerned. We have a great fertile that's planted in his honor in the front of this building over here, and I know he'd love for you to thank him publicly with your applause today. Do so. It's fit to print. I think I'm going to turn it back to Steve because it's time to burn a mortgage. All right. Well, Kelly will bring the mortgage here. And gentlemen, if you all reach in with your ceremonial matches. It's a hot baton I've got here. <laughs> I hope this is a copy. It is. <laughs> I thought he had some. I thought he had some. This sits there. Oh, is this the paper that doesn't burn? Nah. It's burning pretty good. <laughs> Where'd you get this smoke? <laughs> Wrong bank. Albemarle <laughs> <laughs> Bank and Trust. It's burning. It's actually burning. There you go. Ah. There we go. All right. Here we go. Right. It's, it's got to go. It's got to burn. There we go. It's got to burn. burn. She's got to see you there. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. burn, baby, burn. burn.